The day is coming. I, I know it. Although maybe the great and merciful Corona Chan will change it for us later. But there's going to be some idiots out there. Well, they're not idiots. They're geniuses. They're going to actually create a degree in podcast journalism or whatever fucking bullshit. And the real idiots are going to be the millions of whatever future generation of lazy fuck Americans we have coming down the pipe. They're like, eh, that sounds like math avoidance. That sounds like that's easy and work avoidance. I want to become like that guy. But then the irony in a very Joe Souchere-esque uh, uh, way, look up Joe Souchere. Joe Souchere is probably the best journalist America has right now. Uh, he's a triple threat. He could do podcasting. He can write. Um, his face is not made for television, but he can do it. Um, but he doesn't have his master's degree in journalism, though he can't teach, even though he is the foremost authority on journalism. But that's not what we're here. What are we here for today, Cappy? We're here for Cappy to make a shit ton of fucking money and answer your problems. <laughs> Can I mention your name? Please keep me anonymous. And you have a common name. No one's going to know you if I mention your name. There's mi literally millions of guys with your same name. But you don't want to be mentioned, so I'm not going to mention it. An anonymous person with a very common name writes... I'm a black millennial with a 141 IQ and a background in the tech field. You are miserable, my fine good sir. Where did it go? There. There you go. I hope you read this book. I hope you read that one. <clears throat> you are. It doesn't matter you black. Don't matter you millennial. You got 141 IQ. There's your real disadvantage. You want to you wanna be discriminated against on something? That's where you're discriminated against is that fucking high IQ of yours. Background in the tech field. I recently got laid off by a well position with loads of cash, a marketable resume, and several online business ventures that are beginning to see some success. That's great. That's great. If all goes well as planned, I should be fully self-employed within a year. But if not, I still have my tech background to fall back on. Despite my financial success, I still feel I st still feel lost and hopeless. A year ago, I was a Bernie supporting left. Look how quickly the chair and and who's giving uh, the minorities bricks to throw through their own neighbors. It's white liberal leftists from Antifa. Oh, you were one of those guys, huh? Last year? I got to, I'm kind of curious about the path. That's got to be, you got like this incredible brain in you. And then, uh, and, and you still succumb to the, to the, uh, the brainwashing. Like I always thought intelligence would be almost an inoculation against brainwashing. And it's not, it's not smart. People are just easily duped, man. Everyone's, everyone's sheep regardless of uh, IQ or any other uh, trait or variable. Uh, but man, you were a Bernie supporting leftist who was a bit cynical, but still generally optimistic about the future. Oh, did you listen to your teachers? Did your teachers say that uto socialist utopia was on the way? Did, did Bernie say things that made your little, your little socialist pussy, vagina, dick, whatever, I don't know, leftists have. Did that make you feel good? And it felt good, so it must have been right, right? I'm busted his balls. He this is a. I should not be so mean to him. I I just want to point out where did all those lies, those good feeling lies, get you? Uh, but since discovering you and other red pill content creators, my nihilism has gone through the roof. I no longer believe this country has a future. It doesn't. Read the book. Uh, Enjoy the decline. I'm writing this as Minneapolis burns, and it's hard to believe these images are from the same country that put a man on the moon. Well, now, not to make you feel any better, but every country has a group of people that's going to be pissed off for one thing or another. I mean, go, go, we had a civil war here. That was way bigger than whatever this little you know, tryst is. Um, 68 riots are pretty bad. Um, but yes, I, I understand your point that the soul of excellence and achievement uh, you being a high IQ individual majoring in a legitimate field, maybe wanting that white picket fence and the wife with 2.1 kids and a dog. Yeah, that's not, you are the enemy. You are the enemy. Um, but it, it's been worse before. I mean, it's always good. Dude, look at any history. It's just like, we're going to kill those rat bastards because they want their shit. Oh, crap. We didn't beat those rat bastards because they had a better army or they used better tech. Now they're coming after our shit. Oh, crap. We're either enslaved or eliminated completely. 
This is truly nothing. Your commentary about leftists was hard to swallow at first. Well, truth usually is. But if you want someone to suck your dick and tell you that, what was the phrase? Pee on me and tell me that it's raining. If you want someone to pee on you and tell you it's raining, go listen to Oprah or the Democrat Party. I can no longer deny the reality at hand. Well, sir, you are a strong principled individual and you had what less than 4% of the population has. And that's intellectual honesty. That is truly courageous. And I know the world's falling around apart you and you don't like what you see, but you know what? At least you won't die in NPC. You will be truly sentient. You, you won't wait. I, I know, I know, I know. It's not happy. It's not what you want. It's not what you want. It's not what you were promised by the Matrix. But you're awake. At least you know what's going on. How would you like to be, since you're black, let's talk about the black community because you're probably obviously closer related to it than, than most people. How many uh, brothers, cousins, sisters, uncles, aunts? You got all blue. It's a white man keeping us down. Oh, my goodness. How many generations do they have where they're like, the, and, and they're banging their head against the wall? It's like, no, you dumb shit. You had more kids than you could afford, and you majored in dumb crap, or you never got off your ass and worked, period. You know, how many of them are like banging their head against that metaphorical, it the white man, banging their head against that wall? Now, here's my question to you. I know this is not the reality you like. You know, uh, Neo got unplugged for the Matrix. Like, whoa, this is a fucking nightmare. Jesus. We're batteries, and there's these weird fucking octopus mechanical things that lord over us. Jesus. Is a, I mean, it's a nightmare. Would you rather be them? Would you rather be? I don't know if you have a sister, but let's just assume you have a sister. And let's stereotypically, evil, racistly assume your sister has some crotch fruit that has no father around. Do you want to be her? At least you know. And I know it's frustrating on one end, but at least you have sanity. You understand. I do not know the pain, the cumulative pain that goes on over the course of a life of, let's take a, a let's bring it out of the black community. Let's go to another different aggrieved group, <clears throat> white women, because they're just so they have the world bowing down and giving them affirmative action hires and positions. And here you go, and women, yay. And deep down inside, all they wanted to have was a husband and kids. But they got to prove because you know, the average mind, even the superior mind, is completely subjectable to brainwashing. So they got to, men are your enemy, men are the, men are your competitor. You got to beat men, 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 just don't. But God damn it, don't you dare love a man or have a family or kids or love or purpose or meaning or enjoyment or a family because that's whatever, slavery, patriarchy, whatever pejorative they use. And I have seen, it's beautiful. Like this is the conclude. this is like the climax of my movie, the movie I didn't want to watch, just like you didn't want to, you didn't want to admit this. I didn't want to admit this either. But now the movie that, the only movie showing for us right now, because you're a little younger than me, obviously, but this would be the only movie you're going to have too. The only movie showing in town is people who lied to you and try to fuck you up, pay the consequences later. And now we're at the point where they're paying the consequences later. And using the example of white women from North America, there are many, many other examples. Uh, the women of my age and generation who are barren, they believed in all the bullshit and the lies. They all Sheryl Sandberged up. Nobody loves them. They're fat, no guy, and they are suffering. And you know what's funny, my fine, young, IQ, genius black friend? They live longer than us, so they got 40 fucking years of this pain and misery and agony and bullshit. And they ain't ever, they ain't ever going to lose the weight and like pull off like the late sexy MILF cougar. They're never going to pull that off because, again, we are the enemy. So to give you a little bit of respite, a reprieve, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of joy, I'm giving you your little bag of popcorn. Here's your bag of popcorn. This is the only movie in town. We might as well watch it. It's not what we wanted, but we might as well watch. You want to watch a show with me? Let's watch a show. Now, you'll have the same thing. There really is no difference between millennials and, and, and Gen X, frankly, to be honest. You're going to see your generation of women. You're going to see your generation of minorities. You're going to see your generation of victim groups. Or or we couldn't even say victim, but just liars, people who lie to you, people who like believe the lie. I'm going to major in whatever, women's studies, African-American studies, philosophy, community. You're going to watch them die. 
die. I mean, and you're probably already seeing some of this, this comeuppance. That is the only gift God or nature or whoever you want to believe is going to give you. So don't bang your head against the wall about what could be or should be. That never was. It came from a generation went through the Great Depression, had their asses kicked, went through World War II, got their asses killed, and out of this incredibly hot furnace was forged steel. Now, since then, starting with the boomers, everybody is a lazy fucking degenerate loser. All right? Except for you. You've put yourself through the paces. You have gone, you know, other people have put themselves through the galvanizing uh, process, turning themselves from iron into steel, coal into diamonds. But the vast, vast, vast majority of people do not want to capitalize on their life, lead a life of excellence, lead a life of achievement and accomplishment. They just want to be lumps of coal having other people pay for their shit, and then they die after spitting out some crotch fruit and collecting a government check. Now, that may piss you off. You may be paying for that. Here's my question. Would you rather be a diamond or a lump of fucking degenerate single-parent uh, coal? A sociology major demanding a student loan bailout, panhandling, acting like you're a strong, independent person, woman predominantly. Strong, independent woman! I need a bailout! Give me the government money! Or do you want to real, be a real man? And then you know what? When you die, that's all you can take with you. Steve Jobs had $5.2 billion before he died. He didn't get to spend it because I don't know what else you'd spend it on. You get to walk away with that like, damn, I, I, I did pretty cool. I did pretty darn good. And I didn't bang my head against the wall. I did not pain myself. And pot calling the kettle black. I still get pissed off. I try, try and correct. Try to adjust. Try to correct. Even today, I just like, yeah, I could do work today. But I decided to sit outside, have a water, and just look at the sun go by, frankly. And, and, and then I'm like, okay, this is boring as fuck. These, these zen people, they go, just sit and take in the clouds. Can we do something now? Can we go? Oh, Clary, learn to relax. Anyway, this isn't about me. It's about you. I'm just trying to point you a different philosophy. Uh, I'm writing this as Minneapolis Burns. Blah, 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 blah. We sent people to moon. Your commentary about leftists was hard to swallow at first, but I can no longer deny the reality hand. These rioters all look like lazy leftist millennials and Zoomers with nothing better to do in their lives. Right. If you look at them, and not to bring race into this again, it's shocking the number of limp-wristed white people that are giving your people brick, quote, unquote, your people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? I gotta go see that movie again. This is such a great movie. <laughs> you got hands? <laughs> now I'm thinking of Tom Cruise dancing. Uh, let's get back to this. Uh, I see the same characters across the West Coast and even in my small relative conservative hometown back East. This generation is filled with losers who hold little to no productive value. Hang on, I'll get in there. Really? Are you saying a bunch of kids that got a bunch of government money or parental money and they're all spoiled? And they were told they're great and amazing. They're going to go on and achieve great things and they're all heroes. Are you saying those kids, like, now they found out their degrees are completely worthless, but they still have this hero complex. They're going to go and destroy things because that's heroic. It at least gives them purpose and value. No. Uh, with nothing better to do in their lives, I see this. Blah, 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 blah. This generation is filled with losers who hold little to no productive value. China will win in the long run, and I'm already learning Mandarin in preparation. I'm not against you on that, but you overestimate China. May I recommend something? If, if you got the local library, here's what I recommend you do read the Economist Intelligence Unit. Uh, China is our main competitor, and I don't think competitor, I frankly think partner. Um, it's just coming from somebody who did sovereign risk analysis for several years. Um, I know you're fearing your concern and it's not going to hurt you to learn Mandarin. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but China has its own structural, social, political problems. Corruption is a huge thing over in China too, by the way. So it's not, they're going to come in here and wipe us out. Frankly, I don't think anyone would want to take over the United States. They'd be like, uh, I mean, if they did, I'm not joking. Listen to me very, very care. If, and this is a big if, China would have wasted their time. If a foreign nation, very populated, it could be India, it could be China. If they came here, I'm not kidding, they would kill all the black people. 
<laughs> they would. They probably kill all the Latinos. They probably enslave or heavily tax the whites. And then they're like, okay, hey, this is communism. You know what you guys wanted? Communism? Here it is. Shut the fuck up and do what we tell you. And if you don't, you're fucking dead. We have some work camps. They'll call them work camps over in Africa, which they do. China has been investing heavily in uh, Africa. And say, you don't like it here, Mr. Black Person or Mrs. Black Person? Well, we have a new place for you to go, and you ain't got a choice. But, you know, right in protest against freedom and democracy all you want. Right? Not you, not you. But uh, China still, I, they, that's not going to happen. China is, is uh, broken in more ways than you believe. Go read the Economist Intelligence Unit about China. Go to the world, uh, the CIA World Factbook, read through its entire report on China. Um, it, it's not like the red horde is just over the Pacific and they're about to send a ton of fleets. They frankly don't want to do that. I watch idiocracy recently. I'm both amused and horrified about how accurate it is. Come on, president Camacho. Don't you want the house of representing? <laughs> oh, I just think they overshot by sending the protagonist 500 years in the future with 50 would have sufficed. Very poignant, sir. Very poignant. I used to think traveling the world as a digital nomad would bring me happiness, but I already know the novelty where we're off in time. Welcome to the high IQ club. Also the philosopher's club, I might add, sir. I used to want a family, but I can no longer bring children in this world knowing what's waiting for them. Well, welcome to the vasectomy club. Thought about buying a homestead in a low cost of living conservative state, but it'd only be a matter of time before it got confiscated or burned down. Right, right. I'm, I'm just, I'm do, it's all rear guard action. That's all it is. That's all this is. Maybe the AI revolution or singularity will save us, but no, because here's what AI will only do. AI, let's say we perfected AI. Everything is free. We, we got rid of scarcity. Everything is free. Humans being the piece of degenerate shits they are. Just read through European history, but also read through Asian history, which is not as well documented as European history, but it's still there. All humans do is kill other people because they got shit we want we don't want to work for. That's basically it. That's all of history all around. Now, I would say the same of Africa and the Mesoamericans, but they didn't have a written language, so we don't know. But every, you know, it, 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 the India, the Persians, the, the Arabs, a pre-Islam, uh, the Bedouin, uh, the Mesopotamians, the Assyrians, the Hittites, the Egyptians, the Romans, the Greeks, the Goths, the Visigoths, everyone like, you got shit I want. I'm going to kill you for it. Why are we never advancing? Why can't we put people on the moon? Cortez, you got gold, and we don't have to kill you because the disease we didn't know we had we brought over is killing all of you way quicker than a nuclear fucking weapon. Invented by white people, by the way. Go white people. All right. Um, so I don't think AI will solve that because Humans are perpetually jealous. Those people are taller. Those people, have you seen the fat acceptance people? Have you seen those freaks of nature? Women alone are envious of not being men. It's like, well, you're not men. Why don't you go be women? Like, I never want to say, damn it, I'm going to compete with women to be a, a women, a woman. I'll show you who's a woman. Look at me. Look how womanly I am. At, uh, uh, the guy who ran the decathlon Jenner aside. Uh, they're, they're perpetually jealous yeah, about things that are, that are traits that, that, you know, so, okay, look, I'm a short guy. I'm a terrible, but I'm a short guy. Yeah. Do, do I wish I was like six, two? Sure. Of course. Do I envy at some level? Well, yeah, but I'm mature enough to know what, well, I'm not six, two. What, what, what point purpose there of getting all upset about that? Oh, yeah, it'd be nice. Oh, do I envy someone who has a billion dollars? Well, yeah, of course. I don't hate him. I'm like, damn, look at that guy. Oh, I wish to be like him someday. But the average human, the average low IQ, normie, conforming, inferior, and you may have seen this in the black community. Let me guess. You got an IQ of 141 and you're an IT and you probably make okay money. How many people back in the ghetto or whatever like, dude, you ought to bring us more money. And you think you're better than us? How many times have you been accused of Uncle Tom or being an Oreo? Humans, no matter what, that, that's just an example with the black race. Humans are going to be jealous and they're going to hate each other, going to envy each other no matter what. This is inevitable, okay? This is inevitable. 
So we could even have AI. They'll find a reason why you got blue eyes. You know how I do I have I don't have blue eyes. But man, guys with blue eyes do a lot better than guys with brown eyes. Just pointing out that you think height is a disadvantage, dude. It's the blue eyes. You got blue eye privilege. That's what they got. Girls, too. Oh, you got nice blue eyes. Girls have red hair. You think guys get a debate? You don't want to date no redheaded guy. You want to date a redheaded girl, though. Everybody will be jealous about it. It's, uh, Bergeron, Harold Bergeron. Hang on. You got any? You got to read or watch this uh, short story. Bergeron, Patrice Bergeron. No, that's a hockey player. Bergeron communism. I'll just type this up because then it'll pull up. Harrison Bergeron. You read Harrison Bergeron or just read the Wikipedia entry. Inferior people are always going to be jealous of superior people. And it has nothing to do. Now, every once in a while, yeah, okay, traits are born into it. But people who work harder and achieve more, the inferior lazy people, because laziness describes everything, explains everything, are going to hate the superior people, the harder working people. That's just how it's going to go. So AI is not going to solve it. People will find other reasons to get jealous. That your wife's got bigger tits than mine, fucking fascist. That's how it works. So your question is, why are what are some ways to keep sane through all this? Well, I strongly recommend you read Enjoy the Decline. Um, I strongly recommend you read Poor Rich's Retirement. And what I'd also recommend here, I guess the, the, the answer is to admit that this is out of your control. You really need to practice stoicism. Pot calling kettle black. I'm not that great at it. I'm really not that great at it. I mean, I wrote books and I try to relax. I try to take things easy. But man, I, I can't lie. Even though leftists are destroying each other in the Twin Cities, it still pisses me off because of the philosophy, the ethics. Like, why are humans destroying their own town? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why am I part of your team? <clears throat> but you need to realize... I guess your position in this life. You are an exceptionally intelligent individual. That means you're already statistically ostracized from the rest of society. Mo what you could conceive in a, in a moment, I've literally had like moments where I'm like, I don't know if you ever watched the Benedict Cumberbatch uh, Sherlock Holmes where he goes <laughs> like that. I've had moments like that. Yes, I am a fucking genius. Everybody suck my fucking dick if you're not, you don't believe it. But it's just like, I can figure shit out and have like eight moves ahead when there's a problem or a situation. I'm like, oh shit, we got to go now. Everybody's like, what? Huh? I'm like, move now. Sure enough, asteroid hits or gunfire opens up or whatever. You got to realize that that's probably the one trait and variable. Forget your race, forget your age, forget your generation, forget the country. And that is probably the biggest thing is that you're just too fucking smart. And there's so few people that are going to get it, all right? And there's no way to make more smart people. Not at your level. Worse for you because you're a guy. There is like a third because the bill distribution curve is flatter with women. If you have any interest in women, there's only a th for every, let's take men and women at 140 IQ. There's roughly three times as many men as women at that IQ because women have more tight bell distribution curve on the IQ. Men have a more flattened curve. So there's more smart men, just as there are more dumb men, and there's less average intelligence men than women. You're, so throw that away, okay? Give up. Stoicism. What do I do and do not control? You don't control the fact you're super smart. You don't control the fact that there probably isn't a woman out there for you. Stop working up. Like, sure, go on dates. I'm not saying don't, don't date, but lower your expectations. Don't get excited. Conserve your energy. Apollo 13. Watch Apollo 13. That's you, man. That's your, you're this capsule that's impaired and crippled. You only got a certain amount of resources and energy and gas. How do we, how do we make it? How do we get back to the United States? How do we get back to Earth? So don't get to it. Don't waste your energy. Conserve. What is going to have a positive return on investment? Am I actually going to meet you? You meet Tina. You're on the dating app. You do the swooshy swoosh on Bumble, left or right, whichever way, and, and you have a match. And she has her degree in sociology, and she has a ton of student debt. Well, get used to that. Don't get your expectations. Well, maybe. No, no, no. Save your energy. Okay? 
Also, make the best of your life. While you're here, dude, no one's going to keep up. Nobody, nobody, no one's going to keep up with you. Now, maybe here's another thing you might want to consider with that IQ of yours. You get into like NASA. <clears throat> you get into like some MIT, Caltech. Uh, I'm trying to think what. Maybe you go work for Elon Musk. You get into some hot, like where you got that IQ and you're, they've conglomerated these equally highly intelligent people into a settlement of highly intelligent people. And you can operate at each other's speed. So at least you got a tribe. At least you got some intellectual equals. You got some intellectual stimulation and you're among your people. Okay. That's another thing to do. I didn't realize I had that when I was working security. I had no idea. No idea those were my people. Not a clue. You'd be surprised where you find your people. Uh, give up hope. I th I'm not the only, it's not me who said this. I, some philosopher said hope is the worst. Like it should be con included in the seven deadly sins because hope just misleads people and destroys their lives and lessens it. Get rid of all hope. I think your buddy Barack Obama might have proven that. Hey, how are the black people doing, by the way? Your community doing well? Your racial community. I don't mean you intelligent as an individual. I mean, you happen to be born with that same color skin, which was not any of your doing. So it's not individually. It's a trait, not an accomplishment. How is that group of people that were born with that color skin doing because they voted for the guy who was half that color skin? See how bad hope is? So you got to get rid of hope. Um, and then... <sighs> It's not about selfishness, but you focus on yourself and you focus on what you want in life that does not require or depend upon other people. And I'm not talking about work or job. Obviously, you have to work. You have to rely on other people. I'm talking intellectually. Like, what are you going to do to give your life point, purpose, and meaning outside of a family, which is a statistical chance, but just not that high? I mean, leave the line in the water that maybe you catch that fish. But given the very, very, very high statistical chance, you're not going to find a woman that's intellectually engaging as you because you, they just don't have the IQ. Most women are also brainwashed to at least be your adversary and competitor, if not outright hate you, especially among the millennial generation. Um, what is your life going to be? In other words, form a life. What is your life? Gonna, you're going to die. What do you want your life to be in absence of other people? Because you're not going to be able to rely on other people because other people are going to slow you down and they're going to make it painful to deal with them. This is why it's not, not coincidence. The vast majority of my hobbies are one man activities. I go hiking. I don't need people to do that. I just go hiking, motorcycle riding. I don't need people to do that. I just hop on my bike and go. My job, I don't need people to do this. I don't need to sit there with a bunch of fucktard banking dipshits sitting in meetings like, oh, we going to approve Jessup for his third trailer park loan? Huh? Oh, home equity. Oh, he's got scrap metal. We can post that as a, some collateral. Never mind. Don't go to Wyoming. If, by the way, you are with your IQ, don't go to Wyoming. You're just going to have to get to, used to the fact you are a freak in several regards, not only IQ, but you're a black conservative. Holy shit. Your tribe's going to turn on you. They Right now, they all the black community has thrown their money into steel. They've invested. They've gathered the funds. They've invested. So Aaron, why is the entire black community investing in steel? Because they want to create and build knives so they can stab you in the back because you're going to go be successful. <laughs> It's not Chips Ahoy, it's Oreo. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you can't go back there. Well, you're trying to act white. What, successful and like not have a fucked up life and enjoy? What? Yes. I don't like being poor. Um, so there's that. I mean, you're, you're not going to have a community there unless you happen to have an awesome family like who's like conservative, you know, the Huxtables, even though Bill Cosby has been disgraced uh, recently. But... Okay, maybe you're lucky. You know what? You got the Huxtable family. And Claire's wife is supporting you. You got kids except the weirdo that dresses up weird because of, well, reasons. Uh, you know, maybe you got family, and that's good. That's good. But give up all hope. Study Stoicism. Read Marcus Aurelius. I go to a Stoics group here in the Twins. And again, pot, kettle, black. It's hard, man. It is really hard because you got all this genetic programming in you and your brain to like uh, engage in humanity, fall in love, find a woman, have kids. 
you got to realize how hostile the soil is to that. You are not going to grow in that in that soil. It's it's been salted. Uh, it, it, if, if for any other reason, it, it, women have just been completely programmed to be anti-marriage, anti-family, anti-male. And that's not a, 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 a egregious statement or overreach. It is true. It, it's I mean, men the same way. Men haven't been taught to be men. Uh, but the, the key thing is finiteness. That's the key thing. And to look at Steve Jobs. Do you want to be angry for the rest of your life? And again, I'm weak, pot, kettle, black, right here. I get angry every day. And I, I'm not going to let those fuckers win. And then I chill the fuck out. I go sit on my patio. I go for a walk. And I ride my motorcycle. I am not letting the... Now, you got at least more... You got at least half your life if you're a millennial. At least half. Maybe two-thirds. I only got a third left. I'm not having my life wasted like I wasted the... First two thirds. I'm not letting the women that lied to me stood me up, led me astray. I'm not letting my professors. I'm not letting these assholes at universities and colleges. I'm not letting the cocksuckers at the Carlson School of Management ruin my life. I'm not letting the teachers and all those fucking worthless bints from K through 12 that that basically made childhood a prison. I'm not going to let my parents with divorce and all that other bullshit. I'm not going to. Nope. You're going to die, motherfucker. You are going to die. Listen to the William Shatner song. Live life like you're going to die because you're going to. Right? Listen to that song. And you can't. And I hate because I know the pussy argument. Like, it's your attitude. The da, 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 da. It's like, yes, but there's such injustice. There's such lying. There's such bullshit. You're not going to change that. So now, as you pointed out, like, they're just going to take your shit. Yeah, they are. That's out of your control. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to build my house in South Dakota. Not a particularly big house, but it'll be a nice house. It'll make me, and I'm going to smoke my cigars. I'm going to get blowjobs from my girlfriends. I might pick up drinking again because I've gone back and forth on that. And it's kind of like, wow, people are really fucked up. <laughs> Sobriety sucks. You're all fucked up. And I'm going to hike. I'm going to hunt agates. I'm going to hunt fossils. I ride my motorcycle and I'm gonna drive, and I'm getting all I'm doing. This is what you're gonna do, buddy. You're gonna give society the finger. That's what you're gonna. And you can go online and read through all your old high school buddies, look at your entire generation, get what pissed off and blow up their own neighborhoods, burn their own their bars down, their institutions, get pregnant, get a baby daddy, get a baby mama, ruin their fucking life. And then you go out with your finger like this. May not be what you wanted, but you're the one the rare stars making it. Doing whatever you want. And you know what? They're not going to recognize it. They don't recognize it. Most people, I try and explain to like people I know, people like, what do you do? They, they still don't think I have a real job. They think this is just bullshit. This is just, yet yeah, that, that, yeah, that, 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 yeah, but the money just shits from the sky. Like I'm a hot chick with big tits. They're not gonna, there's gonna be no vengeance. There's no no revenge. There's no comeuppance. There's no lesson. There's no moral. They're not gonna learn. They're too fucking stupid and brainwashed and plugged into the matrix. All you have is your life. You're gonna die. Do you wanna be happy for the rest of your life? Doing what you want, ignoring what the sheep are gonna do, right? Get on with it, or are you gonna be obsessed about what they do? And about the only other thing I can add to this is, is maybe you come up with your own Operation Evil, because that's what I'm doing. Uh, the, the, when I realized, and this, this really hurt me within the past year, when I realized like a lot of people on my team, it's not conservative, libertarian, liberal, it's not Democrat, Republican, it's not libertarian. It's everybody. Everybody's a lazy, no good fuck. There are so few legit people out there. So few. Um, and I guess what, agitates me is like at least the conservative libertarian non-socialist non-parasitic it, it, that's the difference is the people who advocate production and not parasitism you think all oh, these productive people they're, they're advocating no that's only and then you find out all oh, they're collecting a government check they're borrowing money to buy a beamer that they can't really afford to keep up with the Jones. oh they vote are i guess but at their core at the heart of hearts hey let's climb up this mountain no one's going to climb up that mountain because that takes work Yes, you're going to be lonely. No one's going to keep up with you. 
No one's going to, especially you, uh, the race intelligence, uh, and not even race intelligence, your race politics combination. You're not even a big Republican. You're just not a leftist. Oh, that's going to fuck you up from your, your original genetic biological tribe. But that doesn't matter. You're on your own to begin with. So what do you want to do, buddy? I say you make a count. I say you enjoy ice cream and sushi and riding and hiking and biking or sailing. Maybe you're more of a, a, a water guy than I am. I don't never like water, but maybe you like sailing. Whatever it is you want to do, go do it. Expect have no expectations of society. And even and you're gonna get society the proverbial finger, but no one's gonna notice or recognize or care. And all you do, like one thing I love, I love, well, even more so, but let me give you two examples of things I love. Because this is the movie we get to watch. Everybody fucking up their lives. I know now two people who are big leftists back on the dance scene who were like, oh, you're just, you know, like even would call me, a, you know, not a racist, but a fascist, you know, because what, I want lower taxes and leave me to fuck alone. Apparently that's fascist now. <laughs> uh, they got to worry about their houses getting destroyed. Now, I've been giving them the finger the entire time living my life, getting out of the Twin Cities and, and, and you know, doing what I want to do. They don't see that. They're, they're literally on Facebook, this one gal who's white, she's like, and, and everyone's like jumping on her, like, you still don't understand your racism and your inherent bigotry, da, 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 and she's believing it. I'm like, well, cripes, lady, if you weren't so fucking old, then maybe you should spread your legs and let everybody fuck you for like reparations. I don't know. Really? You believe this? I don't want to be that woman. You're not going to be that woman. Um, another one is people older than me who should be retiring. And and they can't, you know, like, geez, can't all be like you. I guess you're really lucky. You know, I, I suppose you got, you know, I'm like, dude, you had careers for like four decades. All you had to do is squirrel away a little bit of money, in your 401k or IRA, and you'd be set. But all these people, predominantly older than me, are financially fucked. They don't think. They don't think. Oh, that's, they just think it's luck. They think the great finance god comes out and pees on people. And if you get that type of urine on you, you're financially successful and retired early like me. But if you get the bad drop of pee on it from the finance, go, oh, then you it just, oh, man, it just, I can't retire at 68. You know, we got to keep on working. And that's that's the enjoyment. You get to what? That's how you know you're winning. And if you need even a, a third example, there's plenty of examples, but watch uh, gals my age, but they'll be your age. Watch the women of your age. When they're 42 and they're desperate for in vitro fertilization, why can't I find a man? Fish, bicycle, don't need, no. Corporate career, da-da-da, and their dating profiles. As Chad Elkins has very amply pointed out, 45, do you want children? Someday... You're winning. You're winning. But no, that shit that, you know, our, our great, great forefathers fought for World War II and all that other stuff. And when women were, and keep in mind the 50s, you're like, let's go back to the 50s. We're only a decade, man. And then it went to shit in the early 60s, mid to early 60s. It was temporary. Was it ideal? Yes. Nuclear families. One guy works, the other guy takes it. Well, the gal takes care of the kids and family. You know, okay, we're a team. Stable parents, stable nuclear family. We're all getting out of poverty very, very, very quickly. Holy shit. From 1903, is that when we flew? To 66 years later, we're landing on the fucking moon? Yeah, that's great, man. That, that's, that's not our time. That's not our people. Our people are more obsessed about jerking off to the color of their dick and getting a degree in it, and then going to change the world and educate the children and change. No, no. This, this society not only deserves, but it will collapse. It's going to deserve everything it gets. I mean, look look at your generation. How many girls got to date millennial limp-wristed soy boys, and all these soy boys got what? Tatted up, fat, bloated, purple-haired, ear-gauged, debt-laden girls? That aren't feminine? Oh, fuck no. No. You're just, you're just born in the wrong time, dude. You're just born in the wrong time. We don't control that. So I'd focus on you. I'd make sure your life count. 
I go and make some money. Maybe you start yourself a business. Let me go through it. We got everything self-employed. Yeah, you got your business. There you go. Digital nomadism. You know what? You're right. You are going to tire of that. But why the fuck not check out Thailand? Why not go drive around? Well, take a, I've always thought about taking a nice cruise across the Pacific. No rush. I got nowhere to be. I got nothing going on. Go to Burma. Go to the Philippines. Well, go wherever you want. I desperately want to ride a motorcycle across Russia, but their road is in such shit shape. And I think you have to have a specific type of bike that would make it across, not physically, but because when you need parts, they don't have Honda, you know, <laughs> maybe Vladimir Putin, give me a call. So I'm sorry, buddy. I, yeah, I know, man. I, I, it's like what it really is. And this could be said of Gen X, but the millennials too, probably Gen Z is like, we're showed as little kids through movie, television, teachers, and professors, like this, this candy store, and it's behind the window. And you see all this wonderful candy. We're in America. We have great, we say, oh, my God, it's going to be wonderful. We're all going to have this. And you're like, oh. And then at 18, you're finally let in the candy store for the price of $150,000 of tuition. And you realize it's all like rotted beets. That was just a facade. There is no candy. I get it. Like you saw the 50s. You saw like the fashion and the movies really witty and funny. The music was great. Look, America's number one. We're putting people on the moon, launching things into orbit. But we're gonna have our we're all gonna have our jet cars or our air cars or our flying cars, right? We're all supposed to have that. Nope. Nope. Not your time, man. Not your time. Boomers came in, fucked it up. <laughs> Dude. Man, we figured it out. Some cause some communist agents from the Frankfurt School told us. Fuck you, squares that just suffered the Great Depression and fought World War II. You don't know as much as my 19-year-old ass. I'm a boomer. <laughs> uh, there you go. So hopefully you find a nice gal, maybe. <clears throat> but eliminate all hope. Anchor in the real world. Make your life count. And there you go. All right, let's go through the Super Chats if we got any. Holy cow, look at all the, all the, all the posts. David Little for five bucks. Thank you, Black... Thank you, video. Black community is in flames. Save yourself, build wealth, and eat clean. Also, I have no kids, no problems. Leave bottom hanging fruit alone. Dude, every – this is not advice I just give to black men. But the – you know, and I wrote a book, The Black Man's Got Out of Poverty. You know what? Fuck it. Don't read. It's too much of an investment. It's too much time. There's too much there. Good philosophy, 100% true. You want to know the simple, quick route – Every guy get a vasectomy. I mean that for men too, because it ain't just the black dudes getting fucked over in divorce court with baby mamas. That's spreading around. That's just that's uh, the black community no longer holds a monopoly on that. But guys, you want to end you want to end poverty. You want to make your life a lot easier. Get a vasectomy, and then when you find the right girl, if you find the right girl, you're okay. I made a deposit, or we can have it extracted directly, which. Involves needles and processes you probably don't want to know about, but it's a lot less painful than having a baby mama. Yeah, and the black community is a fun. Thank Antifa. There's your liberal white buddies working for you guys. How's that? Antifa giving you bricks to throw through your own windows? Huh? How's that working? Last I checked, Antifa was predominantly privileged little white kids from the suburbs. Tune into my later podcast, my last podcast, uh, the Corona Champ podcast, number 25, 26. I can't imagine, Dave, what it's got to be like for you and my client being black guys like who are conservative, watching your 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 community just throw fucking shit. Destroy. That's got to be enraging. That's got to piss you to fuck. It pisses me off. I can't imagine if that was like my family. If I had a brother and I found out he was like doing shit, I beat the motherfucking shit out of him. But that would indicate a parental or father authority. Kevin McCoy. Hey, our buddy Kevin's back. We love diversity lives in 90 plus percent white air. Yeah. <laughs> See, Kevin's starting to get it. My old neighborhood, which was torched. That's precinct three. Uh, it was disproportionately white the closer you got to the river because we white people just allow each other to have the houses next to the river. But you went like two blocks in. And then it got really diverse. It's still predominantly white uh, because the universe There's Augberg and. Uh, the U of M law school and the business school there too. But it is a diverse neighborhood. Oh, but yeah, the, the whites just got fucked. That wasn't the black. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, it's black. There is because 
you get closer to Highway uh, 55, yes, that's more predominantly. You can't even see black, but a, a, a group of non-white, you know, Hispanic, Latino, Asians, uh, everybody. Well, I guess we're just going to fuck it all up, huh? Equality and diversity, right? We're going to destroy everyone's business. Um, is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, more asshole consulting coming later. We might have the great one in Chad Elkins on. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.